If you were wondering, this isn't a true story. No more than a quilt is a piece of fabric. It is instead so many scattered fragments of other things sewed together to make something more than a piece of fabric, something warm. Do you know what the Voyager Golden Records are? They are a message in a bottle, recordings of sounds that were once sent into space. They were included aboard the Voyager spacecraft. These spacecraft and their contents, launched in 1977, will outlast their generation, will outlast you and me, will outlast our species, and will outlast life on planet Earth. I never would have imagined that astronomers were so romantic, but maybe that should be obvious. Our story starts in Philadelphia in 2013 when two scientists made contact with alien life form and decided to update the records of our existence. But we'll return to them later. We'll start with this girl here. Hannah wasn't a real artist, she was just sad. She had never been extraordinarily musical. She just wanted to learn a few chords. So she took a guitar lesson, and then she quit. But after quitting, even though she wasn't terribly musical, she kept picking it up every now and then. Most of the songs she tried to write sounded similar to each other. Also, she felt she had nothing to say that wouldn't sound dramatic. She didn't want anyone to think she presumed to be a poet or anything. Constance lived downstairs from Hannah, though they had never met. Constance didn't talk as much as Hannah. She was very unusual. Constance liked to film things eat. She actually liked to film anything, do anything, and normally did. Some people thought Constance was boring. Constance thought Constance should buy herself a new pair of striped socks. At work, Hannah waited on the same couple every first Tuesday of the month. The man was balding and he had a funny way of talking. He seemed excited about everything he said. Every time he and his girlfriend ate at the restaurant, he brought his girlfriend flowers. She was always very proud of him. For a while, Hannah hadn't seen the couple. Then, one day, they came in again. This time, the woman was balding too. She had a scarf around her head. Hannah knew that the woman was very sick. Hannah knew about grief. Her roommate, Maeve's boyfriend, died earlier that year in an accident. He had been their roommate for a few years. He was also Hannah's old buddy. They were very similar people and had been in school together since they were younger. At times, Hannah was sad for her roommate. At times, she was sad for herself. The two women loved, well, actually many, many, many other people loved him very much. That sometimes made grief confusing. At the restaurant, Hannah realized she was repeating herself. The couple had been coming to the restaurant for over a year. They seemed very happy with each other, happier than a lot of people who weren't sick at all. At home, Constance received two visitors. Scientists from the space program introduced themselves to Constance. They said there were people all over the world being selected to send something into space that proved there was life on Earth. They wanted her to film something for them. The couple had left the restaurant. As Hannah cleared their plates, she thought of a song that she had been writing. It sounded like this. Nothing to say.
say no words to speak of their own. For a while, she worked the song over in her head and wondered if it were true. She thought of another song she had been writing with some embarrassment. It sounded similar, but was perhaps more true. Maybe. That was Hannah's problem. She never knew which feelings were true and which were for show. At home, the scientists waited with Constance. When Hannah got home, the scientists were upstairs waiting for her. We heard you were writing a song, they said. Could we record it? Yes, Hannah said, picking up her guitar. She took a deep breath. She heard from the scientists that all over the world there were people doing recordings for the aliens, and she thought about the couple she had seen at work that day. The man had given his girlfriend a card earlier that said something very intelligent. Hannah thought what the man wrote in the card would be a good way to show the aliens that there was intelligence on Earth. Could you start now? We're recording, said the scientists, interrupting Hannah's thoughts. Yes, Hannah replied. She knew now what to do with the song. Slowly, Hannah began to play. You were always so dramatic Ain't it like you to go like this Ain't it like me to judge From a high little horse With my high-handed brain It just ain't the same without you, boy So when I feel melancholy, I chalk it up to the human folly. The just, I might must say, chalk it up to the human folly that just wants to be part of the drama you created by dying. No more crying for me. Did you love me? Did I love you? Can I miss you as much as I want to? Am I allowed to? Or is it just me inserting me where I don't belong? Did you love me? Did I even love you? Can I take all of our fights as my proof that just maybe we may have been dear friends all along? I'm sitting on your bed now. There's a prescription for you in the drawer. Apply at bedtime, it says in all caps, but you won't do that anymore. I've changed since the last time we've chatted, saying less of my thoughts out loud. Red Watchmen, you see, played my first video game, I think you would be so proud did you love me did i love you can i miss you as much as i want to am i allowed to or is it just me inserting me where i don't belong did you love me? Did I even love you? Can I take all of our fights as my proof? That just maybe we may have been dear. When Hannah finished, she asked the scientists if she could record it again. There were lots of mistakes. No, 
the scientist replied. It was the mistakes we were looking for.